In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, we acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, Grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Like a stream is the king's heart in the hand of the Lord. Wherever it pleases him, he directs it. All the ways of a man may be right in his own eyes, but it is the Lord who proves hearts. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the tillage of the wicked is sin. The plans of the diligent are sure of profit, but all rash haste leads certainly to poverty. Whoever makes a fortune by a lying tongue is chasing a bubble over deadly snares. The soul of the wicked man desires evil. His neighbor finds no pity in his eyes. When the arrogant man is punished, the simple are the wiser. When the wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. The just man appraises the house of the wicked. There is one who brings down the wicked to ruin. He who shuts his ear to the cry of the poor will himself also call and not be heard. The word of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. The way of truth I have chosen, I have set your ordinances before me. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Give me discernment that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Lead me in the path of your commands, for in it I delight. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. And I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside, and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The Gospel of the Lord. You 
You know, it feels good to finish uh, a project. It feels good to, uh, to be able to get done with that work and to say, it is finished. And this is a reason why what Jesus says here in the gospel can be hard. He says, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. But hearing the word of God and acting on the word of God uh, isn't a once and done sort of a deal. It's a lifelong, ongoing thing. And we won't be able to say it is finished until the day when we pass from this life and go into the next. And so our joy in being disciples of the Lord has to come not from finishing, but in simply doing the tasks Jesus gives us uh, each day to do. Each and every day, it's our task, it's our delight to love God, to love our neighbors as ourselves. It's a task that will never be finished. And that's okay, because the doing of it, the doing of it is satisfying enough. And once again, with faith and hope, we offer to the Lord our prayers. We pray for the church, her leaders, and all her faithful, that we would walk humbly with God and act justly in the footsteps of the Lord who is just. Let us pray to the Lord. For our president and for all local, state, and national leaders, that they would, that they would act to safeguard human life and dignity in all its stages, let us pray to the Lord. For those who are homebound, that any feelings of isolation would be overthrown by the presence of the Holy Spirit and the kindness of Christ's disciples. Let us pray to the Lord. For the prayers written in our parish books of prayer, for the prayers we offer to the Lord now from the altar of our heart. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who have fallen asleep, especially Anna, May, and Dan Mickey, for whom this Mass is offered, that they rest in Christ and come to know the fullness of life, let us pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, we ask you to hear the prayers that we offer you today and to answer them as always according to your good and gracious will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered wittingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, 
we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.